KNDY. Well, I'm actually going to run a little bit ahead of time. I think they may start this evening's game a little bit early. We've got 4.10 on the clock. I know they've got some presentations ahead of uh, tip-off, and obviously they'll have some introductions, but I know that you do not want to miss a minute of basketball excitement tonight. Officials just came by and gave us the fist bump, so this is the real deal as we are down to the top two teams in boys' class 3A and a championship to be decided this evening from the Hutchinson Sports Arena. Good evening. Bruce Deerking back one more time trying to overcome the crowd. This is obviously the largest crowd we've had all week, probably double the size of a quarterfinal and even semifinal round games. And we've got the hep band to our right with the student section chock full on either end of the court. This is March Madness. What a week it has been. We have had four basketball teams from our listening area and a total of 12 high school basketball games that somehow all found their way scheduled and on the air. Unbelievable. And then we had Kansas, Kansas State. Wildcats did bow out of the Big 12 tournament. We got Jayhawk basketball tonight on our sister station, FM 95.5. But don't leave us for long. We're going to be minutes away from tip-off, and we do have a, a great basketball game here. We're watching scores from all across Kansas at the uh, various sites, and uh, we're seeing double-digit wins and in some cases blowouts. That has not been the story in this 3A boys field. We come into the final four with a combined four losses. And Marysville, the number four seed, has the worst record. They have stepped up and joined the bigs here in Class 3A as it was undefeated Goleta in the semifinals. And Marysville handed them their first and only loss of the season yesterday in the semifinals. It was the number one and two seeds in the consolation this afternoon. That puts the number three and four seeds, Heston and Marysville, in this evening's 3A championship. Some other scores from around the region. Congratulations to the Hanover Lady Wildcats. They go perfect, 26-0, defeating Lebo up at Great Bend. Hanover 59, Lebo 34, girls 1A, Division 2. Donovan West out of the Twin Valley League wins uh, D1. Lady Quinter today, 55-47. The Axel boys finish fourth. Uh, congratulations on a great season there, but fell in the semifinals. They took on South Central in the consolation, and the South Central boys beat Axel today, 59-45. to Frankfurt girls, they beat Norwich. Uh, salvaged the consolation game, 49-23. to Frankfurt girls finish third in 1A Division One. Had the chance to cover their game on a Wednesday. My journey started in the southwest at Dodge City. Then I came across to Hutchinson, where I've stayed with Marysville since. Earlier today, here in Hutch, in the boys' consolation, it was a dandy. Southeast of Celine beat Galena 54-51. Galena ends their season with a pair of losses. Southeast of Celine, Doug Miniman, the athletic director, came from Marysville. 54-51, they were victorious. And in the girls' game, Goodland, in a repeat state championship, took Cheney 59-37. to All right, that's earlier today. We're going to look ahead, a pregame check of tonight's matchup, Marysville and Heston in the 3A state title game, live on TNDY. Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfurt, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. You can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring concern in your family's time of need. Due to an influx in orders, Landall Company in Marysville is hiring for full-time assemblers, welders, fabrication, material handlers, and painters. You'll receive an additional 4% weekly bonus for production employees who work their weekly required hours. Landall is working overtime and offers competitive wages and a full line of benefits, including a $2 per hour shift differential for second and third shifts, all-inclusive insurance plan, paid time off and paid holidays, profit sharing, and a fuel allowance to drive to work. Apply online or learn more at Landall.com. Landall Company, EEO Vets and Disability, welcome. With text order options, competitive daily pricing, and no wrap requirements, Criminal Oil has everything to make your next propane or fuel order a breeze. 
This is Chad Kramer. Our goal at Kramer Oil is to deliver dependable, reliable products to your home or business. At the best value and with the best customer service around, visit us online at KramerOil.com and see how we can serve you. The Kramer family, proudly serving your family since 1976. And again, welcome back. They're presenting the Oscar Stauffer Award, which is for sports writers and sports broadcasters. No, I'm not a contender this year, but recognizing some outstanding talent in Kansas that covers high school sports. A full house, to say the very least. I can hear myself think I will not when they turn this crowd loose. It is uh, going to be a dandy here in this 3A Boys State Championship. Again, we're delighted to have you along. It is broadcast action on air, online, and on our mobile app. AM 1570, FM 94.1, on our websites, keyandyradio.com, and the Sunflower State Radio website, and on our free mobile app as well. Looking down the way, I don't know if Heston has a broadcast or not, so I guess you can share it with a friend if you'd like to. Marysville 23 and 2, Heston 24 and 1. They are the 3 and 4 seeds, respectively in this boys 3A division and what a week it has been as we go back and replay some of those exciting moments in first round action the quarterfinals on Wednesday top seed Galena held off Wellsville 38-35 it was a fight Marysville 4 and 5 seed Wichita Collegiate prevailed 47-41 second seed Southeast of Saline handled Perry LeCompton 64-47 and third seed Heston rolled Colby 59-46 in the semis yesterday, Marysville and Galena went to overtime. Tied 37 all at the end of regulation. Marysville beat Galena 45-42, knocking off the top seed. And it was Heston getting past Southeast of Saline 53-51. Much the same game. Southeast of Saline had a last second three opportunity to win it. Couldn't get the basket to fall. Heston advances to face Marysville. While Southeast of Saline took Galena in the early consolation here today. First meeting, obviously, between these two basketball teams. Marysville comes in, their first trip uh, to state since 2018. They won the 3A title here in Hutchinson in 2017, 2003, and back in 1966. They were the undefeated North Central Kansas League champs this year, coming off a disappointing 10 and 12 season last year. This is a, a group of seniors. There are 10 seniors on this Marysville club with tremendous athleticism, but uh, hush hush, it's been said, they can't win. They have turned that attitude around this year. After struggling some on the football field, they came in with a determination to win and very much have proven it night in, night out. Two losses. Lost in the second game of the season. Their first road trip got beat at Sabetha. Thought they'd rematch with Sabetha in a sub-state championship. Sabetha was top-ranked all season long. They were undefeated coming into the tournament. But Nemahaw Central took care of business, and they won a meeting with their Big 7 rival. So Marysville took Nemahaw Central in the sub-state to advance. Wins over Hiawatha, ACPHS, and Nemahaw Central in the sub-state for Marysville. Marysville averaged 56 points, gave up 32 points. Their defense has been stellar. Back to that thought in a moment. But a little bit about Heston. They're 24 and 1. They are the two-time defending 3A state champions. They beat Galena two years ago, 45 to 36. And they took Royal Valley 51-41 last year. Royal Valley ended Marysville season in the sub-state championship at Silver Lake. Prior to the back-to-back -back championships, they won in 2014, 1985, and 1983. Their only loss this year came to southeast of Saline. Does that sound familiar? In the season opener, they turned the tables on that here in the state tournament. They've won 24 straight, 24 and 1. They're the number three seed versus Marysville, 23 and 2, the number four seed. We'll come back and check starting lineups as our pregame look continues after this timeout. Splash into spring 2023 with savings on your Blue Valley Internet bill. If you increase your speed this spring, you get a $20.23 bill credit for three months. New Blue Valley Internet customers also get a $20.23 bill credit for three months. Visit bluevalley.net slash 2023. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. 
Highland Community College congratulates the area high school student athletes for their hard work and continued dedication in making it into the postseason playoffs. Want to earn college credit at an affordable rate close to home or online? HCC summer and fall enrollment opens March 27th. Complete the free application for admission at highlandcc.edu slash apply. Need more information? Phone 785-442-6020. Highland Community College, close to home, far from debt. Starting lineups are being announced. Heston Swathers will be the visitors on the scoreboard. Starting Jackson Fry, a 6'2 junior. Jake Proctor, a 6'4 senior. Adrian Hernandez, a 6'3 junior. Lane McGill, a 6'3 senior. And Micah Dalston, a 6'2 senior. Three seniors and a pair of juniors start with six seniors on this ball club for Heston. 24-1, two-time, 3A defending state champion. Marysville will be home team on the scoreboard, starting Jack Lauer, a 6'2 senior. Willow Top, a 6'1 sophomore. Dayton Smith, a 6'3 senior. And twin brother Brett and Rook Williams are 6'4 seniors. Four seniors and a sophomore start with just two underclassmen on the varsity squad. Marysville has 10 seniors that will bow out after the tournament today. What a great year for ninth-year coach Scott Brown. As he wound up, I ran into him in the hall in the hospitality room earlier, and he is amped up and ready for today's game. He has been delighted with his team's performance. Said uh, the semifinal uh, game yesterday, that was probably the best defense he's seen. And Marysville will bring that stingy defense into this game against Jake Rocker and the Heston Swathers. Jake Rocker, noted by some as the best 3A player in Kansas, averages 21.5 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists per game. Their next highest score after Proctor, Micah Dahl, 7 points a game. Marysville's led by Jack Lauer, averaging 15 points, but hasn't been a big scorer in the tournament. Peyton Smith got him going in that first uh, game, the second half, and with Rick Williams playing some great defense, according to Coach Brown, that uh, turned the tide last night. His brother, Rhett, averaging just over 10 points a game, scoring for Marysville, then Willow Tott, again, that only underclassman starter, is averaging 8 points a game. It's Marysville and Heston for all the marbles tonight. It's the state championship. We're all in the house, and we're glad to have you along live on Peony Walk. Fry, Proctor, Hernandez, McGill, and Dalston start for Heston. Marysville starts Lauer, Otak, Smith, Williams, and Williams. Garrett Roth, head coach of the Heston Swathers, first-year coach, and Scott Brown, ninth-year coach at Marysville. Adrian Hernandez, 6-3, at center court with Rook Williams at 6-4. Tip is up from the Hutchinson Sports Arena, and the Bulldogs tip it left to right. Williams, near side to Williams. Lauer on the baseline, turnaround 10 footers off the side of the rim, doesn't fall. Rebound to Jackson Fry, gives Heston their first possession. Shooting percentages have been disappointing for Marysville this week, but the defense has kept him in the tournament. Lane McGill comes out top, near side, fires to Jake Proctor. He's the man to watch. Around to Micah Dahl on the right wing, challenging Rhett Williams. Turns it back out, dribbles with his left hand. Proctor off the left side, out top to Jackson Fry. They are quick. Here's a shot by Proctor for three. Out it. He's got a nice touch. I watched him on warm-up. He's a pure shooter. Uh, they count it for two. They count it for two. It was on the arm. Proctor gets scoring underway as Hefton scores on the first possession. Reach in by Jackson Fry. Marysville Fourcourt is his first personal foul. A 2 0 Heston lead. Who will set the tone early this evening? Bulldog basketball. Yesterday's game, tough to call. We both had the dog mascots. Willow Top directing traffic. Rhett Williams, far side to his brother Rook. Lowers off the baseline. And it's a Marysville turnover. Swather basketball. Heston out of central Kansas. Teams representing all corners of the great state of Kansas here this week. Jake Proctor to the free throw line. Shot missed off the back of the rim. Rook Williams up in the rafters for the rebound. 
Two-nothing Heston Stark. 6.35 to play in the first. Otsak got it man-to-man on the near side. Gives off to Rick Williams. Four court to Lauer. Lauer challenged by Proctor. Turns it out top of the key. Near side to Rook. Baseline, Rook Williams underneath. Little too deep. Can't get the roll, and it drops to Jackson Fry. Traveling basket. Ball. Swapper turnover. Crossing midcourt. I wasn't quite ready for that, obviously. Ah, what an electric atmosphere there is here. Marysville fans kind of been milling around town all day. Hang up a late game. Of course, that sunshine leaves the tough one to play, those consolation games. Three-point decision went to Southeast of Saline and the boys are there. Turning to the hoop, here is Peyton Smith, missing as it rolls off the rim. Boards out front to Micah Dalston. There's Heston, the early 2-0 lead. Just over two minutes in. We've had some low scoring affairs here in this 3A field this week. Tipped by Lauer. Dalston gets the save out in the forecourt. Dribbles twice. Proctor comes out front. Fires to Fry. Far side wing finds McGill. Off the wing. Proctor with a fake between defenders. Underhand. In the hoop. Jake Proctor. His second score. He has both baskets for Heston. Leading 4-0 with 523 to go. Couple Heston substitutes set to check in at the next opportunity. Ball's knocked away from Willow Tott out of bounds near side. Substitutes are Tyler Graylitz, a 6'2 junior, Reed Friesen. He's a 6'6 sophomore. There is still yet to score. Otsop backs it out between the rings. Plays a pass to Rook Williams in traffic for the layup, and the Bulldogs are on the board, trailing 4-2. Not quite five, three minutes in. Here's Proctor. Four court to Friesen. Far side Dalston. Gets in the corner. Back out on the wing to Friesen. Early substitutions for Garrett Roth. Driving across the lane, spin move in the lane. Adrian Hernandez is handcuffed. He was fouled. Hernandez coming to the line for a pair. Jack Lauer's first personal. 4-2 Heston. Teams kind of feeling each other out. We've got 4.42 to play first quarter. Hernandez free throw is good. Hernandez for number two. It's on the way. Rims out. Otak pulls down the Bulldog board. There is still trailing three. It's early on. Middle first quarter. Bounce pass to Rhett Williams. Layup is good. The assist to Otak. Williams twins start scoring. It's 5 4 at the top. Two time defending state champion. Boy, that's a, an accomplishment among itself. Lauer with a steal from Proctor. Here's Otak to the lane. Stops short. Double team pressure. Kicks it out to a wide open ref. Williams missed a three. Off the heel of the rim. Proctor with the board and the ball. Under four minutes and counting. Here's Dalston going right side. Scoots underneath. Almost caught Hernandez off guard from the corner. Micah Dalston missing. Brooke Williams with another rebound. Marysville, even against a taller Galena team, held their own on the boards. 6-4, 6-4, 3 for this team. Top of the key three for Rhett Williams won't fall. Lowers to miss three defenders with the rebound, and he fouled. Jack Lauer went down hard late in the game, lower back, and I asked Coach how he was doing. He, he didn't really answer me. And Jack's going to be the first to check out for Marysville. He looks okay. He looks 100%, but I know he's hurting in that lower back. Probably bruised it some yesterday. Thomas Behrens is first off the Marysville bench along with Sanders Zutterman. Sanders missing out of the corner. 
Uh, Barron tries to save it inbounds. Loose ball taken by Proctor. Hustling down the floor. He plays to Jackson Dry for the layup. Proctor sets it up with the assist. He is very unselfish. Scores over 21 points a game. The lead for team in assists with four. He's got one early today. 7-4 Swathers with 3.05 in county. Zetterman far side. Look in the lane, look in the lane, holds the ball high, then shoots. It's good! Nobody there to guard. Jess Andrew Zetterman had a tray early on yesterday and ties this game at 7 all. Far side pass, Fry. Proctor off the far sideline. Hesitates and moves across the free throw line. Shot just in the paint. Good for Jake Proctor. Going to have to stay with him. Going to have to stay with him. It's 9-7. Oh, it's hot. Far side to Rook Williams. Fakes coming near the lane. Kicks it out top to his brother Rex. Back to Rook. Now Zetterman to the fourth court near side. Oh, top for three. Missed off the rim. Tip and taken by Jake Proctor. How many times have we said his name already? Beating Jackson Fry. He is fouled by Rhett Williams. Timing was wrong. A couple of free throws coming here with 2.07 on the clock. Opening quarter. Heston leading 9-7 as Jackson Fry comes to the line. One of two junior starters. And the first of two is up. Hung on the rim, wouldn't fall. Maybe Nickerson in the Substate quarterfinals, 86 to 39. Kingman in the semis, 68-44. Took Haven by six points, 47-41. In the only fight in Substate. They outscored their opponents in Substate with 67 points, allowing 42. Prize second look, it's good. And a couple of Bulldogs back in the lineup. Substitution for Heston. 10-7. Swathers lead the Bulldogs. Full court pressure. Marysville in the substate took Hiawatha. ACCHS and beat Nima Hall Central 53-35 to advance. Scored an average of 56 points in the substate. Allowed just 32. That's how stingy their defense has been. They've gotten attention and accolades from all over the state. Here's Jack Lauer, free throw line shot. Guarded, it's good on a bank shot for Jack Lauer. Three of five starters have scored for Marysville. Four Bulldogs on the books. It's 10-9, Heston. Near side, Hernandez driving baseline, meets a second defender. That's Jack Lauer to swipe it away after he was focused on Thomas Barron's. Lauer with the steal. Bulldogs for the go-ahead. Plays the dribble, top of the key. Brings it back toward us. Lauer, top side to Barron. Far side to Rook Williams. Underneath to Sanders Zetterman. Beat two defenders for the score. Assist to Williams. 11-10 for Marysville's first lead late here in the first quarter with a minute six to go. Proctor calling the play. Short dribble, mid-court. Finds Dalston on the left side. Student section, Bulldog crowd at far end of the court. Proctor plays a corner pass, coming across to Dalston. In the lane, Dalston. What a score. He was fouled. Micah Dalston gives Heston the lead back with a free throw coming. It's 12-11. Now 43 seconds remain. Willow Top. Brett Williams back in the Bulldog lineup. Three Heston Swather starters check in. Now our first lead changes here this evening. We had a close fight between the three, four seeds, but do seeds really matter at this point? Here with the best of the best. Dalston free throw is on the way. Rims off. Willow Tot steals the rebound from Lane McGill. Then we had a whistle. Is it McGill on a reach in? According to our student section, it is. McGill on the foul in the battle for the board. That's three team fouls each way. We're under 40 seconds. 
full court look, but they don't spend a lot of time backcourt. Collapsing with man-to-man D. Under a half minute. Lowers out between the rings. No top far side. Top of the key, Zetterman. We're under 20. Bulldogs look to play the clock out for the lead. First quarter here in the boys 3A state championship. Under 10. Lauer, top of the key for three. Miss. Otot rebound near the free throw line. Swiped away. Stolen by Micah Dalston. Down the floor. Layup miss. Probably would have been after the buzzer anyway. Our score at the end of one in this boys 3A state championship. Heston 12, Marysville 11. Update your home today with a new look from Feldkamp's Furniture Mart. See their tremendous selection of living room, dining room, and bedroom sets and furniture, as well as bedding, accent pieces, appliances, and more. Flooring choices with professional installation are available to complete a new look from start to finish for a single room or your entire home. Financing options for any budget up to 24 months with no interest, as well as free delivery making buying local easy. Shop Feldkamp's Furniture and Flooring in Marysville today. Tension in Marysville is a leading national manufacturer and marketer of custom envelope products. Great career opportunities include operations, sales, customer service, accounting, tech, and administrative support. Go online to tensioncorp.com for the careers tab for more details on currently available opportunities. And apply today with Tension Corporation in Marysville, an equal opportunity employer. in Sports Arena where Heston leads Marysville 12-11. Uh, Heston 5 of 7 field goal 71%. Marysville 5 of 13 38%. They hit 37% yesterday versus Galena. 47% in the quarterfinals versus Wichita Collegiate. Rebounds about even. 12-11. Marysville had a brief lead. Heston takes the ball and the lead. Into the second quarter action. Lob underneath to Micah Dalston for the backdoor layup. It's good on his second score. 14-11 has to. Brooke Williams near midcourt. Surveys the floor. Finds his brother Rook on the near side. Back out front to Red. Man-to-man pressure. Following a tot going far side to Rook. Williams crashing into a defender. Going to be a charge. Lane McGill is camped out underneath. And draws the charge from Rook Williams. That's his second. That's four Marysville team fouls. Heston by three with the ball. Heston beats Colby and southeast of Saline to advance. Near side is reserved, Reed Friesen. Now Proctor off the near side wing. Lob underneath, got away from Lane McGill out of bounds. That'll stay with Heston. And all right, I'm not down on that end of the course. What a few substitutions off the bench for Garrett Roth. As Jackson Fry checks in and Adrian Hernandez, they're both starters. Inbounds to the paint. Turnaround shot started. But what drops for Reed Friesen? Friesen gets the first score off the bench for Heston. Leading by five. It's their biggest margin. 16-11. 6.50 to go. First half. Sanders Zetterman still in the Bulldog lineup. Pitches to Lauer in the fourth floor. Lauer eye to eye. Toe to toe with Fry. Takes him to the paint. Turns. Fakes. Jake. Jack Lauer's. Pushed to the floor and fouled. Earns a couple of free throws. Doesn't he? They're sorting it out. He's waiting at the line, and the initial indication was two free throws. Yeah. Just had to sort it all out. A second personal foul on Reed Friesen. His team foul number four. And Lauer missed. He had four big free throws down the stretch and the win over Collegiate on Thursday. J. 
chance to trim a five-point lead. Lauer's second shot's good. It's 16-12. Here's Proctor down the court. Three scores, six points today. Averages 21 and a half a game. Plays Fry coming off the wing. Cross court to Dalston. Back to Fry. Now Proctor off the left side. Around a Fry on the right wing. He'll drive the lane. Running gun layup. Miss. Rebound down to Peyton Smith. Bulldogs down four with the ball. We've got 6-10 on the clock. The top double team far side. Brett's top of the key. Back to a top. Now near side of Lauer. Fakes, drives. Lauer was playing to Peyton Smith. He comes out from underneath. Good coverage underneath by Lynn McGill. Around the horn, far side, then back in the four for Tourette. Lauer, far side, fakes to the free throw line. Shots up and good for Jack Lauer's second score. Bulldogs cut the lead in half. It's 16 14. 535 remains. First half. Proctor on the dribble. Fry coming from the wing. Dalston on the opposite side. Bulldogs follow with man to man D. White jerseys camping out in the lane. Somehow, somehow, Adrian Hernandez finds an open route through those defenders to the lane. And he gets the layup for his first field goal. 18-14, Heston. Here's Zetterman backing out of the forecourt. Brings it around right side. Three-point shot. Good for Rep Williams. His second score trims the lead to one. 18-17 with 4.50 to play in the half. Bulldogs need those outside shots to fall tonight. Dalston, near side. Fry out of the corner. Baseline to Hernandez. Back to Fry. In the lane. Hook shot's good for Jackson Fry. His second score. Swathers by three. Four and a half minutes. Zutterman near side. Follows the screen by Lauer. Zutterman to the four court. Check of the lane. Spins. Pass to the near wing to Lauer. Fouled from behind by Adrian Martinez. Going to be his first team's fifth. Big thanks to our Sports Booster Club members, the regional Sports Boosters, stepping up all season long as we provide live coverage. Our online staff listenership been phenomenal, so I can't imagine what the on-the-air listenership's been like this week. Lots of excitement for Bulldog fans. Brett Williams from the corner challenged his defender. It's an air ball to Eric Schmidt, senior reserve. Six seniors on this Heston Ball Club. Three are starters. Under four minutes and counting. Swappers by three. They've had to lead most of the game. Slim leads, no more than five. Perimeter passes. Top side McGill. Out front to Sanchez. Far side to Fry. Comes in the lane to Schmidt. He was fouled. Caught up in traffic. Willow Top tried to swipe it away. His first. Team fouls even five apiece. Heston still by three with the ball. Inbounds baseline. Trouble getting the inbounds pass to Dalston far sideline. Kind of a little hop or a limp coming out. Four four. He's okay. McGill, near side to Fry, near the lane, denied by Zutterman. Kicks it back out top, here's Dalston. Fry coming out of the corner, reverse layup underneath, no good. Lowers high for the Nurisville board. Bulldogs down three with 3.20 remaining. No top, far side to Lauer, three for the tie, rims out. Spun back out, McGill with the board. Here's Heston. I look to the bench for Isaac Sanchez. Garrett Ross gone eight deep here in the first half. Scott Brown, arms crossed on the other side. Dalston coming through the lane, feeds underneath. The miss for Lane McGill on the back door look. Three-point ball game. We're stuck here for quite a while at 2.40 left. No time. Far side is Utterman. Rep's top of the key. 
Riddles once, finds Otan on the near side. Sander in the fourth court. Backs it out on the dribble. No hurry. Aston defenders a couple steps away. Fake by Barron's in the far corner. Lauer off the wing. Lauer crossing the free throw line, turning in the lane. Bumps the defender, wanted the foul, kicks it out front to Otot. It's good to Will Otot, give the assist to Lauer. He was trying to get a foul whistle in there. They wouldn't bite. We're tied on the three. It's 2020 with two minutes left as Garrett Ross takes time out in this 3A Boys State Championship game live from Hotch. Tires aren't all the same, and neither are tire dealers. Find a dealer like Mike's OK Tire who carries Michelin and BF Goodrich tires. Michelin offers safe, fuel-efficient, long-lasting tires that provide exceptional performance and extraordinary value. BF Goodrich tires are built for drivers looking for high performance and aggressive styling. Next time you need tires, don't deal with amateurs. See the tire experts. See Mike's OK Tire in downtown Marysville for tires, repair, alignment, and service. Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions, your farm and home marketing team since 1976. Let the family team of Tim, Tom, and Rob Olmstead and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you in your real estate experience of selling or buying a home or farmland. Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions is experienced in providing timely, professional, and honest service. Find them on the web at olmsteadrealestate.com or call today at 785-353-2210. Kansas trailing Texas, 53-43. That game's live on FM 95.5 after a day of 1A basketball action. Swather basketball, we're tied at 20 on the Willow Top 3. Almost a tie-up in the lane, good effort by Peyton Smith. They get the ball out top to Matt McGill. His shot doesn't fall. Smith comes out with the board. And what's the whistle, a foul on Peyton Smith? Yeah, Scott Brown's taking, taking issue with that. He's giving a long... Long editorial to the referee on the Smith personal foul. Team foul number six. Tie ball game, late first half. Turning down low, Hernandez in the lane. A lot of pressure, Smith behind him, doing a great job. Dalston off the wing. Out to Hernandez, brings it up top. Not giving them any open looks. Proctor near the lane, brought up by Lauer. Shots up, missed. Rebound tip, way out on the other side. Sanders Zetterman saves it right in front of his bench. Bulldogs for the lead. We've got a minute 10 left in the half. Here's Marysville, your undefeated North Central Kansas Lake champs. What a great year in the NCKL. A tough league, year in and year out. Play center went on to the 4A state tournament. They lost in the quarterfinals. First year in the state tourney for Clay since 1968. Sanders Zutterman with a charge, taking Tyler Reworks to the court. Zutterman's first is a 17 foul. Leaving 48 seconds. Player substitution over there. Brett Williams back in for Zutterman. Trio Swathers off the bench. Tied at 20. In a week full of great games here in this Boys State tournament including an overtime win for Marysville yesterday with Galena. Proctor, pass over and back. Dalston was caught off guard. Wasn't a real good pass. Proctor was kind of looking the other way. Marysville possession with 32 seconds left. Take the lead to the locker room. These kids are playing with so much confidence now. Cannot tell you what a season will do. Oh, the contrast from when these kids were freshmen. The will to win. The will to win. Here's Lauer. Far side. Clock under 20. The time violations of Marysville turnover. Scott Brown's ballistic. Rightfully so. I don't. I didn't see the count. Swather basketball. Just under 17 seconds left. Scott kind of took himself down to the end of the bench to avoid saying something improper. 
so the Swampers may play the clock out for the lead. Here's Fry, we're under 10, brings it around near side, traveled with the basketball. That may have been the return call on that, on that time whistle, leaving 4.2 seconds. Sometimes you get those. All right, Marysville for the lead, coming three-quarter court with just over four seconds. Otak crossing midcourt, near side, Lauer, dribbles walk, late shot, rims off, would have been after the buzzer. At the half, we're tied at 20, seems appropriate. Three, four seeds battling for the 3A state title from the Hutchinson Sports Arena. Like new, Price Drive, the Nordisk Motor Company in Marysville has a 2020 Chevy Traverse. It has the leather premium package. They have a 2019 Chevy Equinox, a one-owner local trade, a 2018 Buick Enclave Essence, and a 2016 Chevy Equinox. Price Drive, ready to roll at the Nordisk Motor Company in Marysville. Chromie Lumber in Marysville and Washington offers sales, template, and installation of countertops, including quartz, solid surface, and Corian. Visit chromielumber.com or stop in 609 Carolina in Marysville or 200 Ballard in Washington. For your next kitchen remodel project, see Chromie Lumber in Marysville and Washington. If you're a driver over 50, it may be time to switch your auto insurance. The AARP Auto Insurance Program from the Hartford is now available through Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville. Call today for your free, no obligation quote. Learn more about special rates, benefits, and service designed especially for AARP members. Call the Copeland Insurance Agency at 619-6220. That's 619-6220. Certain policy features are subject to eligibility and may not be available in all states. Hartford Fire Insurance Company. Company, Hartford, Connecticut. Due to an influx in orders, Landall Company in Marysville is hiring for full-time assemblers, welders, fabrication, material handlers, and painters. You'll receive an additional 4% weekly bonus for production employees who work their weekly required hours. Landall is working overtime and offers competitive wages and a full line of benefits, including a $2 per hour shift differential for second and third shifts, all-inclusive insurance plan, paid time off and paid holidays, profit sharing, and a fuel allowance to drive to work. Apply online or learn more at Landall.com. Landall Company, EEO Vets and Disability, welcome. Your health and wellness are the first priority at RX Drug in Marysville. With many choices today, including mail-out options, you can trust that RX Drug know you and your family. They can make recommendations that not only save you money, but saves you time and avoid complications as well. All major insurance and prescription cards are welcome. You can call ahead or have your doctor call for fast and easy pickup. Doing business local is just good business. Thanks from RX Drug. Extended halftime show here at the state championship. They had a dance team out there performing. 2020. Wow, what a game, what a week. Marysville, 23 and 2, Heston 24 and 1. Heston, the two time 3A defending state champions, have had the lead much of this first half. Marysville struggled again from the field. They're starting to gain a little momentum, but just hitting 42% in the field on. 8 of 19, 3 of 11, three-pointers. Heston's hitting 56%, 9 of 16. They've missed two three-point bucket attempts. Otherwise, it's about even. Most of the stat categories, Marysville's had a couple more fouls, fouls than Heston. Um, didn't shoot it. Uh, free throws in that bonus situation necessarily in the first half. But uh, that's where it is. Boys looking for rebounds here. They're about even. Ten for Marysville, nine for Heston. Teams match up size-wise pretty well. Here's scoring in the first half for Marysville. A balanced attack. Jack Lauer, Brett Williams with five apiece. Willow Tott had a three to get Marysville their first lead. Brooke Williams adding two. Sanders Edelman's off the bench with five points. Marysville 11 in the first, nine in the second first half. Total of 20. Scott Brown's gone seven deep in the first half. For Heston, Jake Proctor, who averages over 21 points a game, has three field goals and six points. Jackson Fry with five. Micah Dalston, four points. Adrian Hernandez with three. And off the bench, Reed Friesen has two points. Twelve in the first.
numbers, eight in the second first half, total of 20 for Heston. They are two of three at the free throw line. Marysville one for two. 2020 tie here at the half from Hutchinson. When you start a plumbing or electrical project, make sure that you have what you need to get the job done. If you don't have everything you need, Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber can help. Stocking a full line of electrical wiring, switches, boxes, and everything to the fixtures and even light bulbs. For that plumbing task, there's pipes, connectors and joints, faucets, toilets, and accessories. From an installation or remodel to a simple repair, get the plumbing and electrical supplies you need at one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. Highland Community College congratulates the area high school student-athletes for their hard work and continued dedication in making it into the postseason playoffs. Want to earn college credit at an affordable rate, close to home or online? HCC Summer and Fall Enrollment opens March 27th. Complete the free application for admission at highlandcc.edu slash apply. Need more information? Phone 785-442-6020. Highland Community College, close to home, far from debt. If you're in the ag business, you need a financial partner that understands it. We have years of ag business experience, but we make an extra effort to get to know your operation. We make all our loan decisions locally and even offer on-farm visits to learn your business firsthand. We know ag business, your business. Citizen State Bank, Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Member FDIC. We're just making a living, making things grow. Kansas Jayhawks trailing Texas 62-48. They're under eight minutes to play in the ballgame, I believe. 62-48, Texas leading Kansas. Other high school scores today. Hanover girls go undefeated 26-0. Hanover, a state championship over Lebo, 59-34. Thank you, Dusty Donis, for calling the Hanover games for us up in uh, Great Bend. Hanover girls undefeated, 26 starts, beat Lebo, 59-34. Donovan West out of the Twin Valley League beat Quinter out in Dodge City for the title. Donovan West, 55, Quinter, 47. Frankfurt girls win the consolation at Dodge City. They beat Norwich. Frankfurt, 49, Norwich, 23 earlier today, thanks to Jason Broadfoot for filling in out, out of Dodge City for us. Um, the Axel boys, they lost last night, lost the consolation today to South Central. South Central 59, Axel 45, and a 1A D2 up at Great Bend. Here in, uh, here in Hutchinson, southeast of Saline beat Galena by three. Saline 54, Galena 51 in the consolation earlier today. The Goodland girls, a repeat championship, took Cheney in the game earlier. Goodland 59, Cheney 37. Here up to date on scores all across the great city of Kansas. Again, it's Bulldog Basketball live tonight on KNDY. Save money and get free stuff. Seriously, download the CJ Go app before you fill up next time and earn exclusive deals and rewards. Earn points with every fill up and redeem those points for dollars off your purchase. Download the CJ Go app and use it at all CJ Express locations. Join, shop, and save with CJ Express in Marysville and Frankfurt. Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. Drive by or check inventory online at HoneymanAuto.com. You can even schedule a test drive online as well. With lots of choices, Honeyman works to make yours the best buying experience with customer service a top priority. Competitive pricing, knowledgeable staff, and superior customer service right here at home. With a full service shop and a selection of both cars and trucks in all price ranges, see Honeyman Auto Sales and Service East Pony Express High. Highway, Marysville, today. At Galloway Uyghurs and Brenniger, we're about building relationships one client and one issue at a time. I'm Jason Brenniger, and I invite you to visit with me for any legal services you might have, including probate, estate planning, and trust administration. Advanced planning has countless advantages to your family, including greater control and disposition of your assets and tax issues that might come up. Call for a no-obligation appointment today. Check us out on our Facebook page, or at gwblaw.net. Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfurt, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. 
you can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring concern in your family's time of need. Chris Deerking back at the Hutchinson Sports Arena where we're still six minutes away from the second half. They had several dance team performances here at the intermission and uh, kind of an extended halftime program. So a little bit longer than we're used to, but we'll just uh, spend a moment and chat about things. Met with the administration last night. They were having dinner downtown. Uh, Superintendent uh, Darren Schrader, uh, high school principal Tim Woodcock, uh, and athletic director uh, Cole Fredrickson, Coach Fred. Uh, they were all downtown with some of the Marysville folks. And I mean, Darren, Darren Schrader wanted to commend the, the kids from Marysville and the fans. I've uh, been so impressed that he was hearing from the officials and some of the administration here in the tournament. And uh, this is the student section just been stellar. The, the pep band under Blake Nation's direction, direction, they've been doing a terrific job. Came down Wednesday, got back on the, or Thursday. Yeah, I got back on the bus, came back Friday. They stayed overnight in person last night. Uh, it's been a special atmosphere down here. Marysville hadn't been down here since 2017. If the math serves me right, this class of 10 seniors on this year's ball club, they were in, in junior high school, like seventh grade at that time. So it's, it's a really special atmosphere here. And I'll harken back to the days of uh, Pam Wheeling when uh, she played on the girls team. Well, it was in 1976. I was a freshman bulldog. And uh, we made the trek down to the Hutchinson Sports Arena. And of course, been here many, many times over the years. Marysville's uh, last title back in in, in the 2017. Uh, they're no strangers to the 3A state tournament, postseason action, even going back to 1966. But and it's certainly been a proud, proud week for these 10 seniors and, and Coach Scott Brown, how pleased he's been with this team's performance. Uh, took that second loss, or that second, that first loss in the second game of the season. You need to scratch your head, said, where are we going to go? Well, sweep the North Central Kansas League, which is, is never an easy task. Uh, to win twice against some of these teams come through, host the Substate, and uh, come out of that flying fashion where the Substate championship was it a week ago. And then it's on to the state tournament where they played played so well and so hard coming back in that second half uh, against Wichita Collegiate then taking Galena to overtime yesterday. And here in the uh, title match, tied 20-20 at the half. Splash into spring 2023 with savings on your Blue Valley Internet bill. If you increase your speed this spring, you get a $20.23 bill credit for three months. New Blue Valley Internet customers also get a $20.23 bill credit for three months. Visit bluevalley.net slash 2023. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. Sunflower Community Credit Union recognizes that members' health, both personal and financial, is top priority. In order to make your banking a completely safe experience, they're proud to now offer drive-in convenience. Monday through Friday, 7.30 till 5.30, Saturday, 8.30 till noon. Lending can be done remotely as well. Contact their friendly loan officers at 562-3741. New members always welcome. Call, go online, or drop by Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville for more details. Caring about your personal and financial health, Sunflower Community Credit Union. Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance, providing high quality coverage and service, all at a competitive premium cost. Since 1888, Bremen Farmers Mutual has offered homeowner, farm owner, business owner, fire, and inland marine coverage. Dependable and affordable. See your local agent representing Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance. Learn more about the various insurance products offered by going online at bfmic.com. On the floor, Marysville came out first. The Heston Swampers follow. We're tied 2020 here at the half. Scoring again for Marysville, led by Jack Lauer and Rhett Williams with five apiece. Willow Tott has a three, Rook Williams two points, Sanders Zetterman off the bench with five. For Heston, Jake Proctor's been held six points, Jackson Fry with five, Micah Dalston four points, Adrian Hernandez three, and Reed Friesen off the bench with two points. Heston led 12-11 into the first quarter. Marysville took the second Q9-8. We're tied 20-20, headed to the second half from Hutch. Armor. 
farmers. They're the lifeblood of America. The men and women who tackle the toughest jobs to put clothes on our backs and food on our tables. They might do it quietly, but their genuine values and tireless work ethic are an inspiration to us all. Some might say farming is a thankless occupation, so that's why we're taking the time to say thanks. Farm Bureau Financial Services, protecting what matters most. Patrick Booty in Marysville is your local agent with Marshall County, Farm Bureau Insurance, and Farm Bureau Financial Services. Legacy Carpet Cleaning will give your floors a fresh-as-new look. Let their team of dedicated professionals tackle your carpet or tile cleaning. Your home feels fresh, looks great, and makes a more healthy environment for you and your family. Call Skyler Price today for an appointment and let Legacy Carpet Cleaning in Marysville go to work for you. JD Construction wants to make your dream home a reality. Whether you want to build a custom home, remodel your current home, or add a deck or patio, JD Construction can handle all your residential construction needs. They are also experts when it comes to agriculture and residential buildings. For small or large projects, consider a custom building from JD Construction. They'll give you high-quality work while staying on schedule and budget. Contact Jared Smith at 785-353-2313 today. From start to finish, it's J.D. Construction. Texas 70, Kansas 52, under four minutes to play in the Big 12 tournament. It's live on KDY FM 95.5. Big thanks to Max Blasky. It's his first state tournament. I've been with us just out a year, but he's learned a lot. Managing the studios back at home while I call in our resources out of Glen Elder, Dusty Donis, the Jason Broadfoot, covering four high school teams and 12 state tournament games this week, plus Kansas and Kansas State. As we head to the second half, 2020 Marysville possession versus Eston. Bulldog basketball with Lauer on top. Smith, Williams, and Williams back on the floor. While Fry, Proctor, Hernandez, Miguel, and Dalston start for Heston. Here's Jack Lauer turning in the lane. Brought up by Proctor. Kicks it out far side to Rep Williams. Lauer top of the key. Hands to Willow Top coming from behind. Peyton Smith out front. Finds Lauer on the right side. Fake at a pass to Rook Williams. Shot over a defender, Adrian Hernandez. Williams shot off the side of the rim. Bulldogs are not hitting a very good percentage of, of field goals again today. Defense has been so tough this week. Jackson Fry, guarded shot underneath, blocked and taken by Willow Tot. Oh, Tot driving is fouled by Fry. All right, among the final four, these are no strangers. Heston's been here nine times, back to back to back, with, of course, back to back state championship. Marysville's been in the state tournament seven times. Southeast of Saline, their fifth appearance this final four, and Galena, their third appearance. They're kind of a recent addition, but they're no strangers the last couple of years. Here's Otsot, left of the lane, coming around Jackson Fry's foul. Count that basket. Jackson Fry frustrated on a third personal foul, and back-to-back -back touches on Willow Todd. Will is the team for Marysville next year. He essentially is going to uh, carry a load on his back with 10 seniors graduating from this year's team. The other underclassman on the varsity roster is Blake Spicer Jr. He did play some minutes along the way. Here's Otot. Miss. Jump back out. Hernandez rebound. It's 22-20 in HS. Early second half. Hernandez, far side, works to Friesen. Friesen brings it around to the near wing. McGill, top side to Proctor. Jake Proctor crossing the free throw line. Drops a pass in to Jack Lauer. Lauer steals it away, then is tripped up. As he turned, he tripped up over Adrian Hernandez. For Hernandez, his second personal. That's three early team fouls in the second half on Heston. 6.33 remains, 22-20 Bulldogs. Third quarter hasn't really been a statement here in the state tournament, but many times the second half of the season, third quarter was a strong one for Marysville. Lauer, left baseline. Driving back door, slipped as he put the shot up, missed. Loose ball to Reed Friesen. 
It's tipped out of bounds by the Bulldogs mid-court. Good hustle. And I see a little breathing room in here. Heston had much of the first half lead, never more than five points. Swather basketball, they're down two. Bulldog Nation at the other end, they're chanting defense. Proctor, top of the key, a reach-in foul for Rhett Williams, his second. Neither team coming out with any command so far in the second half. These two teams just match up so well. Proctor is out front. Their top score, 21 and a half points, six boards a game. Here's a steal by Otak. Took it away from Lane McGill. Did he get the foul? On Miguel, his second. That's 14 fouls here in the second half. Three on Fry, two each on Hernandez, Miguel, and Friesen has two off the bench. No talk with the ball. Far side, Lauer. Drives quickly to baseline, then back to a top. Cut him on top of the key. Rook Williams, cross court to a top. Near side corner, Sander brings it to the free throw line. Otak in the lane. Will Otak meets two defenders. Offensive charge for Otak. Couldn't get the layup. Challenged two defenders there. Marysville 2 0 in the second half. We're at 525. In a low scoring game to begin with. And just no point production here since intermission. Single field goal. Proctor on the far side. Rick Williams guarding. Dalston back to Proctor from the sideline. It's good. Jake Proctor's second tray. His fifth score, and it's 23-22 Houston. Three minutes into the second half. Lauer near the free throw line. Left baseline to Rook Williams. He was fouled. Brought up by Adrian Hernandez. He's got three. So Hernandez and Fry with three fouls each. That's team foul number five. Good thing to Ralph Hazlebench. He went eight deep in the first half. That's Tyler Rewards into the lineup here. Inbounds pass. Stolen by Lane McGill. Swathers take it away. They lead by one. Proctor, top of the key three. Missed off the heel of the rim. Boards out to Rook Williams. There's Sander out of the far side corner. Plays the top side to Rook. Back to Sander. Underneath. On the back door look, Matt Friesen. Lauer for three. It's good for Jack Lauer's third score. His first tray. Marysville by two. Proctor to the lane, layup over Rook Williams missed. The rebound is down to Peyton Smith. Here's the transition, Otak to Lauer. Coming around, Lane McGill is fouled. McGill with three fouls. Three starters, three fouls each. That's 16 fouls, and we're not even four minutes into the second half. Rett's in for his brother, Rook Williams. Here comes Eric Schmidt in the lineup, senior reserve for the Swathers. Boy, catch Heston in some foul trouble. Sure could change the look. Jack Lauer, three-point shot was flat, doesn't fall. And Schmidt goes right to work, pulls down the defensive board. Proctor stopped top of the key. And keeping him in check as best they can. He's a standout. It's Proctor, far side. Now top to Dalston. 3.40, third quarter. Dalston dribble, far side. Bounce pass to Proctor. Running gun shot, missed. The rebound to Smith. Peyton brings it down. Bulldogs are up two. Slowing down the tempo, going into forecourt. There's a timeout call. Stop. 
Sean Brown takes time with 325 in the third. Marysville 25, Eston 23. United Bank and Trust has been fulfilling the banking needs of families and businesses in Northeast Kansas for decades. United Bank and Trust is always advancing, and now they'd like to offer a free mobile deposit feature within the mobile banking app. Endorse, click, and submit your check image for deposit. It's a mobile fast world out there, and so is United Bank and Trust, the bank of your future. Visit our website at ubankonline.com or your local branch for more information. United Bank and Trust, banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Free CPA in Marysville has built a heritage of trust and reliability with your accounting, tax, and business advisory needs through the years. Certified public accountant Marcus Fries, with over 25 years of experience, and his staff continue that tradition of outstanding service to you, the customer, each and every day. Free CPA, downtown Marysville. Heston Swather Band, boy, they're a good one right beside us here. Still in the house of the music. Well, 5-3 Marysville in the second half, but the big storyline is six personal fouls on Heston. Three of their starters, Fry, Hernandez, and McGill with three fouls each. Marysville on the other side with just a pair. Bulldog basketball, slim two-point lead. Scott Brown took the timeout, his first. For another pass, far side to Lauer. Rick from the corner. Back to Lauer. Fake. Follows the screen. Plays underneath at the base of the net. Jake Proctor coming one on three. Had the ball tipped out of bounds. Swathers will play it back in from baseline. Inbounds pass underneath. It's an easy shot for Eric Schmidt. Didn't have a lot of coverage on uh, Eric Schmidt. Tied at 25 with just under three minutes to play. Bulldog basketball. It's Lauer in the four courts. Otak, top of the key. Bounce pass through traffic to Lauer. Back to Otak for three. Missed off the front of the rim. Crofters down with a rebound. One on two, spins around Lauer, meets Red Williams. Jake Proctor gets the layup. Proctor's got 11 points, and it's 27-25 Heston. Crowd getting to a fever pitch here in the Hutchinson Sports Arena. Bulldog basketball, Zunderman right side, had the ball knocked away, and a steal on the tip to Micah Dalston. Here comes Heston leading by two. A renewed enthusiasm. We've got 2-10 to play in the third. Layup by Jake Proctor missed. He was driving through traffic and drew the foul. Be a pair of free throws coming for the senior standout. Jack Lauer picks up his second, team's third. Proctor's at the line first time tonight. Chance to extend the two-point margin. Marysville had the lead, but briefly. Free throws good. Nice arch. Peyton Smith's in for Jack Lauer. Heston, the two-time defending state champion. Marysville giving him a fight here tonight. Proctor's second free throws good. Two of five in the first half, or four of seven on the evening. Bulldog basketball down four, under two minutes and counting. All top comes in the four court, man to man D. Zutterman to Rook Williams out high. Back to Sander in the corner. Denied baseline, he was fouled. Jake Proctor's first. At 17, Kyle, Sanders Zetterman comes to the line in the one and one Marysville just one for two free throws in the first half, one for three on the evening. Zetterman, first trip to the line. 
Number six man on this team. Free throw bouncing, bouncing off the rim. Smith tries to bring it down. He got the rebound. Had to work for it. Bulldogs keep it in play. Here's Otot turning in the lane. Left and right. Good move by Will Otot. Seven points for Otot. Trims the lead to two. 29-27 with a minute 27 left. Still third quarter action here. In the nightcap, wrapping up this 3A state tournament. Foul away from the ball. Going to be on the Bulldogs. Eight Smith, his second. Two fouls on each of the Marysville starters. That's team foul number four. Letterman checks out. Lauer's back in. There's Heston. Inbounds to McGill, far side. Proctor quickly takes control. Frees him around the near side. Works to Rewards. Dahl stick. Bounce pass near the lane. Kick out a guy on the wing to Rewards. Marysville follows man to man defense. They have been stingy, allowing baskets all season long. Crowd at a roar on both sides. Proctor near the lane. Shots in and out. No good. A rebound to Lowell. Bulldogs down two with 42 seconds left. Two to tie, three for a go ahead. Otot challenging right side. Brings it out front to Rook Williams. Bounce pass. Smith out of the corner. Turning near the lane. Meets the defender and is blocked by Reed Friesen. Tipped the ball out of bounds. Baden hoped for a foul, so it wasn't going to happen. We're under a half minute to play. Is Eric Schmidt back in the Swather lineup? They lead by two. We were tied 20 20 at the half. No hurry as Proctor is unchallenged. Coming in the forecourt. And it looks as though they'll play the clock out. He's guarded by Rick Williams. Out at center court. Down to 10. And off to Schmidt. Coming near side, Dalston. Proctor back to Dalston. Checks the corner. Five seconds. Proctor double teamed in the corner. Splits defenders. Baseline shot. Missed at the buzzer. End of three in this boys 3A battle. Eston 29, Marysville 27. If you need a tractor that's small but mighty, Can Equip in Marysville has just the ticket. The Workmaster 25S subcompact tractor from New Holland. With 25 horsepower, a three-point hitch, rear PTO, and mid-PTO, it handles chores a garden tractor just can. Plus, this economical tractor gives you deluxe comfort and simple two-pedal operation that makes it easy to mow, load, dig, grade, and more. Stop by Can Equip in Marysville to learn more about the Workmaster 25S. Whether it's a car accident, storm damage, or a fire, when the unthinkable happens, it doesn't matter if you saved money in 15 minutes. In this moment, it doesn't matter if your neighbor has the same insurance as you. In this moment, what matters is that your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind you have you covered. Please come see the girls on Broadway at Alliance Insurance, 785-562-2393. So glad to have you along tonight and all week long with Bulldog basketball. Well, let's say it all season long, but before it's gone by in a heartbeat, a very special year for a special team. Marysville trailing Heston 29-27. We were tied at the half. Texas beat Kansas 76-56 in the Big 12. Hanover girls win a state championship. They're undefeated. Took Lebo 59-34. Donovan West girls over Quinter 55-47. Frankfurt girls, consolation win over Norwich, 49-23. Haxtell boys fell to South Central in the consolation, 59-45. Three-point win for Southeast to Celine in the consolation here. Goodland girls win the title. Three-point shot for Captain Adrian Hernandez. And the Bulldogs have the ball down two with 7.35 left in regulation. Went to overtime for the win over Galena yesterday. Tied at 37. Marysville prevailed. Otak near the lane. Had the ball knocked to the paint. Proctor brings it down the floor. There's Heston. I look over to his bench. Coach Garrett Roth. 
dropping some players to that low post position. Dalston off the far side. It's good. Far sideline. Micah Dalston first trade. First score in the second half. He has seven points in the contest. Heston leads by five, matching the biggest lead back in the first half. 6.50 to go. Brett Williams, far side to his brother Rook in the corner. Back out on the far sideline, the rep. Lowers in the forecourt. Oates hot, near side wing, with the ball. Plays past the top of the key. Beats far side corner to Peyton Smith. Smith tried to drive underneath. Picks up a foul. It's charge, his third personal, and a 15 foul. I'm not sure how that one was going to go. We've got six and a half to play as Heston's kind of getting the momentum to swing their way. Still just a five-point ball game. Here's Proctor following a screen. Near side, Dalston. Out in the fourth court to McGill. Far side, Fry. Back out top to Proctor. In the paint, Proctor. Fry, too deep underneath. Nope. Double bumps and shoots for two. Jackson Fry, seven points. It's a seven-point Heston lead with six minutes left in the season. Lauer, far side three. Got to quiet that crowd. It's off the rim. Rick Williams got the offensive board. Rook's going to baseline. Turned it over. Bulldog turnover. And a little bit of a look of frustration showing on these Marysville players' faces as they go to timeout with the roar of the crowd. Heston, 34, Marysville, 27, 549 to play when we come back. Get away with a shopping day at Reflections Hallmark. Beautiful home decor pieces, scented candles, last-minute gift ideas for any reason, plus Hallmark cards, as well as fabulous boutique clothing and accessories. For yourself, for your home, for someone else, shop Reflections Hallmark in downtown Marysville. And remember, they do custom picture framing with lots of frames and matting choices. You're always welcome. Thanks for shopping local. Reflections Hallmark, downtown Marysville. There is a When it comes to financing your operation, you want to deal with someone who knows agriculture. Our loan officers are experienced in ag lending. Get your ag loans here. First Commerce Bank. Experience the difference. Member FDIC. When it comes to serving the financial needs of this area, we have the home court advantage. This is our home. We know the area. We know the local economy. Bank with us. First Commerce Bank. Experience the difference. Member FDIC. and not too far down the road from Hutch has brought everybody out here and they're on their feet as Heston has their biggest lead in the ball in a seven-point advantage despite stumbling into the second half with five or six field goals. Here's a Heston turnover. We've got 536 to play. Bulldogs need a couple of unanswered baskets. Offense just hasn't had the punch this week. It's the level of defense they're playing. Otot with Lauer in the forecourt. Otot near side to Rhett Williams. Look in the lane, nothing but black jerseys. Brett's off to Lauer on the near side. Jack dribbles behind the back, brought up a Proctor. Far side, Otot to the paint. Layup for Will Otot's good. Otot's got nine. It's 34-29 with five minutes left. Oh, boy, the season's on the line here. Both coaches standing, hands on their hips. Dressed identically, red polos. Black slacks. Three-point shot for Micah Dalston. Back-to-back plays down the stretch. They lead 37-29. Eight-point lead is Heston's biggest. Rook Williams underneath. Missed the backdoor layup. And it's off to Heston. Swather basketball. They can wear some time with four and a half minutes. Proctor's going hard to the lane. Passes off left side to Adrian Hernandez 
he collided with a couple of Bulldogs and was fouled. And I, I think it's a given that Heston could wear time, but they feel that momentum, and they're just charging ahead, head and shoulders down. Uh, the foul is Lauer's third, team foul number six, bringing Hernandez to the line. He hit a free throw early tonight. On the way, it's good. They're taking advantage of free throws for sure. Seven of 10, 70%. And Hernandez can stretch that lead to 10. Be a double digit advantage with 423 remaining. Hernandez free throw is on the way. It's good. Time out on the floor with 423 to go. Heston takes the biggest lead, 10 points. 39-29. For reliable trash pickup and roll-off service, call on Temp's Disposal. Containers sized to meet your needs for residential, commercial, and construction jobs. Always prompt and professional, Temp's Disposal serves Marshall, Washington, and Gage Counties. Let them go to work for you. If it's their weekly collection schedule or one-time pickups for construction, moving, or cleanup, Temp's Disposal in Marysville is a phone call away at 785 562 5360. Napa know-how. Locally owned, locally operated, your Napa parts store in Marysville offers Napa parts and accessories, plus the tools, equipment, and supplies you need to get every job done right the first time. The right tools at the right price, plus Napa know-how. From your locally owned and locally operated Napa parts store in Marysville, Enans Automotive. Know how. Madness upon us with high school championships and the Big 12 sees Texas over Kansas 76 56. Here it's Heston 39, Marysville 29. 423 to play. We were tied at halftime. Marysville down two at the end of three. And Heston's gone on a roll here of late. That, despite getting into foul trouble, they had three of their starters with three fouls before you knew it in this second half. But they've really changed that. Here's O'Tot, far side to Rhett Williams. Lau on the far wing. Up front to O'Tot. Will crashing past the defender. Plays in the paint. Nice give to Sanders Zetterman. Can't get it to fall. Got his own follow. And he may have been fouled in there. Yeah, he's in the one-on-one. Not a shooting foul, but a one-on-one. And as Tyler Reworks picks up his second. That's 18 fouls. Zetterman at the free throw line missed one earlier this half. Marysville's down 10 with 4.05 left. And now 10 points, big hill to climb. I'll just be honest. Zetterman's free throw is good. And there's one. Earns the bonus. You take it one step at a time. Sanders Zetterman with the bonus. It's good. Here are free throws. Trims that lead to eight. And yes, there's still plenty of time left. There's no coaches. Scott Brown, David Hyde. Kind of sitting there just waiting for the team to decide. It's been the coaching philosophy as he's brought these youngsters and them in. So they'll make, they'll make the decisions. Swather basketball. Four-court passes. Near side, Dalston. Proctor. Cross-court to Fry. Out front to Dalston. And they're a hard team to force a turnover. Down to 340. Still keep away passer. Here's Fry in the forecourt. Dalston comes out top. Eight point affair with three and a half minutes to go. Defender staying right with him. Good job defensively. Fry coming around right side underneath. Double pump. Shot is good for Jackson Fry. He's got nine points. Heston's up 10 with 313 left. Here's O'Tot, far side, Lauer, three off the sideline, missed, it rims out. Fighting for the rebound is Lane McGill. 
Here's Heston by 10 with the ball, and there's three minutes left. They haven't said it yet. You know their fans are thinking three peaks. From midcourt, Proctor, Dalston. It's to the center court. Fry is off to Proctor. We're all out of the forecourt. The only man down low, that's Reed Friesen. He's not doing much. Now Friesen comes out top. Proctor again, we're at two and a half and counting. Marysville's going to have to force a turnover. Eight start fouling. Next foul puts him in the bonus, and it's a reach in for Will Otot, doing just that. Otot, Lauer, Smith, three apiece for Marysville. That's team ball number seven. Stops the clock at 224. Didn't have a choice. They're, they're good enough ball handlers. You're not going to steal that ball away, but on an occasion. And they send Jake Proctor to the free throw line, but his own coach calls timeout first. Heston 41, Marysville 31. 224 remains when we come back. Feeling stuck in a state of compensation stagnation? You know, another year, no raise? Then let State Farm agent John Bannister help you get to a better state with a discount double check that can stretch your hard earned dollars a little further. Discounts that could add up to 40% and put a few hundred extra dollars in your pocket. Discounts vary from state to state. See John Bannister, State Farm Agent, 1022 Broadway, Marysville. When you roller, send for Schroeder. For complete body repair, see Jeff at Schroeder Collision Center. A family business for several generations. Let Jeff and his quality crew help you with your auto needs. Schroeder Collision Center, 701 Carolina, 562-3546. Kick Afer and Bussing, certified public accountants in Marysville and now in Seneca, are qualified and available to assist you with all of your income tax and accounting needs. Stop by and visit Ken Kick Afer, Kent Bussing, or their staff of certified public accountants and paraprofessionals. For prompt and friendly service, contact Kick Afer and Bussing at their two locations, 1100 Broadway in Marysville at 562-2100 or 508 Main Street in Seneca at 336-2400 to set up an appointment. Kick Afer and Bussing, where quality begins. Heston opens up their biggest lead on the Bulldogs, a double-digit lead, now at 10. Here's Jake Proctor at the line, first time tonight. The front of the one-on-one -on -one is good. They haven't missed in five free-throw attempts in the second half. That leads at 11. Proctor can stretch it to 12. On the way, it's good. Nothing but net. And Proctor's in here with 15 points. Marysville needs some scores, and they need them quick. Otak to the lane, drop underneath Peyton Smith for the chip shot. Otak gets the assist. Smith on his first score. 43-33, down to 2-10 to play. Here's Proctor, far sideline. Backing out McGill. And we had a whistle. Bulldog's going to have to send him to the line. Aren't going to get a lot of choices here. Clock stopped at 2.03 with Lane McGill at the line. First time tonight. He is in the one and one There's 18 pounds each. Miss. Rebound to top. All right. Bulldogs down 10. Can they do it? Otak turning in the paint. Guarded shots. Good over Jackson Fry for Will Otak. Otak's got 11 points. A minute 48 left. Bounce pass underneath to Lane McGill. The assist to Reed Friesen. Casting by 10 with a minute 40 left. Here's Smith out top. Shot blocked. A clean block by Friesen. Brett Williams three. It's good. They needed that much. Brett's got eight points. Trims the lead to seven. Timeout Marysville with a minute 28 to play. At United Bank & Trust, we get it. Bank hours don't always fit into your schedule. With the United Bank & Trust mobile banking app, you can bank anytime, anywhere. At home, at work, or anywhere in between, you can perform convenient and secure transactions like mobile check deposit, transfer money between accounts, or see your balance instantly. Find it by searching for United Bank & Trust mobile app in your app store. Mobile banking with United Bank & Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Anyone can sell you soybean seed. Channel Seedsman plays product to perform. 
With Channel Extend Flex Soybeans and Channel Roundup Ready to Extend Soybeans, you'll get the superior weed control you want and the high yield potential you need. Make the most of next season with the Roundup Ready Extend crop system and expert recommendations from Channel Seedsman. Ask a seedsman in your area for recommendations for your fields. Check with your state pesticide regulatory agency for specific restrictions in your state. Always read and follow pesticide label directions. Aston making the breaks happen late here tonight. It's 45-38 swappers with a minute 28 remaining. Aston basketball, full court pressure. Inbounds to Dalston. He's had back-to-back threes down the stretch. Found by Jack Lauer, fourth personal foul. Dalston is their second highest scorer, averaging 7.3 a game. With those back-to-back trades, he's got 10 points tonight. Hayden Smith checks in for Sanders Zetterman. We're down to 123 remaining. We're passing up by seven. Dalston's the free throw line. Missed one back early on. Missing here. Rebounds out to Brooke Williams. Bulldogs still in it. Oh, it's hot. Still on the dribble. Brooke, far side to Lauer. Jack Lauer underneath. Ball was tipped out of bounds. We've got 112 left. Seven point affair, three score ball game. Inbounds to Otsot, deep in the fourth court. Goes to the hoop, layup, miss for Will Otsot. Had the right idea, wouldn't fall. And a quick foul as Reed Friesen brings the rebound down. That stops the clock with 106. Still a seven point Heston lead. Reed Freeze into the line. He'll shoot his first free throw tonight. Friesen came off the bench with nine points. Friesen, Hernandez, Dalston, nine of these win last time. This one's good. And the lead's back to eight. Friesen can make it nine. Never the net. He does. They are, they are hot in the free throw line. That's not helping the cause a bit. The ball rolls into a top. Lauer, far sideline, missed off the rim. Rebound, Rick Williams in the paint. Was looking for Peyton Smith. Rick Williams was fouled to stop the clock with 57 seconds left. Heston by 9, 47, 38. Brooks in the one and one on a 19 foul. Fourth personal on Lane McGill. What a great job these Heston players have done controlling a foul situation after three starters came up with three personal fouls early in the second half. Brooke Williams is at the line. Marysville just hasn't been to the line much tonight. Two of four in the second half. Front of the one and one doesn't go, but Peyton Smith gets the rebound. Charging underneath. Pitches out to Sanders Zetterman. Three out of the corner. Missed off the side of the rim. The rebound's out to Hernandez. And he's fouled with 49 seconds left. Aston in the driver's seat. Leading 47-38. Can make it a double-digit lead with a free throw here. Personnel adjustments. Set to come in after the free throw. Hernandez first. He's three for three tonight. Still perfect. And it's a 10-point Heston lead. Here's Lauer and Otot. They were out for just a minute. Check in for Zetterman and Barons. Hernandez, second look on the way. It's good. Heston by 11 with 49 seconds left. That's 10 points to the line in the second half. 12 free throws all night. Holds hot through traffic. Double pump down low. Takes the pressure off Peyton Smith for the score. Assist to a top. That's Peyton's second score. Timeout Bulldogs trailing 49-40 with 41 seconds left. 
Just like our area athletes work each day in practice to perform at their best in the big game, the staff at Bruna Implement Company, your local Case IH dealer, work daily to provide the best parts and service experience when you need it most. Bruna Implement Company has been family owned for three generations. We know what it takes to be successful as your area Case IH dealer. For the best in farming equipment with the service to back it, there is only one. Bruna Implement Company, since 1947. Bulldog basketball, a service of our Sports Booster Club members and our regional Sports Boosters. Thank them for their fine support all season long on air, online, and on your mobile app. Bulldog basketball, what a season it's been. But coming to a close here with 41 seconds left, Heston leading Marysville 49-40. Well, they've opened up a double-digit lead late with 10 of 12 second-half free throws. They're 14 of 19 at the line tonight. Marysville, one of six. Full court pressure. Look for the quick foul. Can't get the ball inbound. It's a turnover. And Lauer and O'Todd are back in with 41 seconds left. Catch a break. Take advantage of the turnover. Down nine. Lauer keys it into a top underneath. Double pump. Shot missed. Got his own board, follow shot missed. There was a foul. Jake Proctor picks up his second. And we're in the double bonus both ways. Peyton Smith at the line first time tonight. Bulldogs down by nine. Make it eight. Smith free throw strip. Letterman and Barron's back in the Bulldog lineup for Lauer to top. Sending them in there if they need to foul. Lauer's got four, top's got three. Bouncing high, missing, follow underneath for Rhett. Williams won't drop. And Proctor's got the rebound with 32 seconds left. Garrett Ross says play the clock. Dalston fouled near sideline, leaving 26 seconds. Doing what they can, but it's an eight-point Heston lead. And they're back at the line with Micah Dalston. He's missed two. About the only one that's missed for, for the Swathers. 49-41. Dalston free throws on the way. It's good. They can't miss. Lauer and O'Todd are back in the Bulldog lineup. Dalston, a chance to make it a double-digit lead with 26.2 on the clock. And his second free throw is off the rim. Correct Williams rebound. Down the floor to Rook. Turning baseline. Otot near side. Under 20. Lauer top of the key. Missed a three inside the arc. No, he got it. He got it inside the arc. And was fouled. Got to leave 15-7 on the clock. Was that a two or a three? It was a three. Okay, thank you. All right, Lauer got a three. They've got a high school arc and a college arc out here. Okay, two then. Two then for Lauer. He'll have to earn the three. It's a seven-point margin with under 16 seconds left. Marysville fighting to the finish here. The free throws have been a real challenge as Heston's had the opportunities and taken advantage. Lauer rims off, doesn't go. Rebound underneath. Smith can't keep it in bounds. 13.8 seconds left. The player shuffle again. Heston by seven. Swather Bass, no, Bulldog basketball. I guess they have possession of the other end. Here's O'Tock for three. Missed off the glass. Fight for the rebound. A scrap. Peyton Smith grabs hold. He's fouled. Leaving 5.6 seconds. Peyton Smith fighting hard. Steps to the free throw line, trailing by seven. 
as Jackson Fry comes to the bench on four fouls. Five. Here's five. It, it was four on the board, and I had four, but it's five fouls. Jackson Fry Jr. fouls out at nine points. Sending Reed Friesen back in the lineup as Peyton Smith awaits a free throw. Down seven with 5.6 seconds left. Smith just went one for two. This one's good. He carried the team on his back in the quarterfinals with a strong second half, game high 22 points. Jared Roth takes time out with 5.6 seconds left. Marysville's down six. Smith with a free throw when we come back. With text to order options, competitive daily pricing, and no wrap requirements, Kramer Oil has everything to make your next propane or fuel order a breeze. This is Chad Kramer. Our goal at Kramer Oil is to deliver dependable, reliable products to your home or business at the best value and with the best customer service around. Visit us online at KramerOil.com and see how we can serve you. The Kramer family, proudly serving your family since 1976. Bruce Dierking from the Hutchinson Sports Arena. It's been our second home all week long. Marysville trailing Heston 50-44 in the boys' 3A title game. Girls' championship went to Goodland, a repeat state title. They took Cheney 59-37. Boys' consolation southeast to Saline edges Galena 54-51. Galena back-to-back losses, their first in the season. They were top seed here. Peyton Smith got the first, has the second free throw coming. His team's down six. A throw off the front of the rim and a track by Lauer. A launch into the paint. Willow Tot put it up. Miss. Rebound is down to Reed Friesen. That's the ball game. And Heston repeats for a third straight 3A championship. 50 44. Dashing Marysville's hopes at the upset. But what a season Scott Brown's team has had. They finish at 23 and 3 with losses to Sabella, Atchison, and Heston here tonight. A somber look from these 10 seniors from Marysville that fought so hard to come on the 10 and 12 season last year and prove their worth here in the state tournament. Prove it they would, knocking off five seed collegiate in the quarterfinals. Handed Galena, the top seed, the first loss of the season in the semifinals. This is a class act. Garrett Roth stopping with each Marysville player and personal comments as they come past. He takes his team to a 25 and 1 finish, and Heston wins 50 44. Three throws in the second half. Big, big difference in this ball game. Presentation of the individual medals and the trophies. And right now, some sad looks from the Marysville Bulldogs. But they can indeed hold their heads high on reestablishing a Bulldog pride in this basketball program. Under ninth year coach Scott Brown, he brings his team into a huddle as this crowd goes to their feet with respect for a tremendous fight and battle to the finish here tonight. But Heston prevails 50 44. Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. Drive by or check inventory online at HoneymanAuto.com. You can even schedule a test drive online as well. With lots of choices, Honeyman works to make yours the best buying experience with customer service a top priority. Competitive pricing, knowledgeable staff, and superior customer service right here at home. With a full service shop and a selection of both cars and trucks in all price ranges, see Honeyman Auto Sales and Service East Pony Express Highway. Marysville today. It's service you can always trust at Sink Gordon and Associates in Waterville and Marysville. Their experience in all matters of farm, business, and individual income tax planning and preparation, estates and trust, accounting and payroll services too. Call Chad Parker in Waterville at 363-2263 or Aaron Wright in Marysville at 562-3858. Sink Gordon and Associates, comprehensive and innovative accounting in Northeast Kansas since 1946. Make every job easier with one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber. For any project inside or out, if you're a professional or do-it-yourselfer, get the tools you need, including Milwaukee, DeWalt, Stanley, and more. 
Battery-operated tools offer the convenience and mobility with the power to get the job done quickly every time. Stocked with all the blades, bits, and accessories for your convenience as well. Check out the Power Tools selection today and get the work started on your schedule with Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. Sunflower Community Credit Union recognizes that members' health, both personal and financial, is top priority. In order to make your banking a completely safe experience, they're proud to now offer drive-in convenience. Monday through Friday, 7.30 till 5.30, Saturday, 8.30 till noon. Lending can be done remotely as well. Contact their friendly loan officers at 562-3741. New members always welcome. Call, go online, or drop by Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville for more details. Caring about your personal and financial health, Sunflower Community Credit Union. If you need a tractor that's small but mighty, Can Equip in Marysville has just the ticket. The Workmaster 25S subcompact tractor from New Holland. With 25 horsepower, a three-point hitch, rear PTO, and mid-PTO, it handles chores a garden tractor just can. Plus, this economical tractor gives you deluxe comfort and simple two-pedal operation that makes it easy to mow, load, dig, grade, and more. Stop by Can Equip in Marysville to learn more about the Workmaster 25S. Well, I'm going to admit, it's tough to see tears in these young men's eyes. Fought so hard, they wanted one last game. But they'll go home with a second-place trophy and a season we won't soon forget. Cast and Swathers get their individual medals. No strangers to this routine. A three-peat for Heston. Finishing the season at 25 and 1, Marysville 23 and 3. Our final has been 50, Marysville 44. Free throws, the difference. Heston 13 of 19, shy of 70%. Marysville 5 of 12, just over 40%. And then look at field goals. Heston 17 of 31, 55%. Marysville 17 of 45, just 38%. Heston Swappers are your 3A Boys State champions for a third straight season and join Goodland winning a second straight girls title. Heston 50, Marysville 44, the final here tonight. Wrapping up the numbers for Heston, led by Jake Proctor, 15 points. Micah Galston, a couple of trays in the fourth quarter at 11. Jackson Fry, nine points, fouled out late. Adrian Hernandez with seven. Lane McGill scores two. Reed Friesen's off the bench with four, and Eric Schmitz adds two. For Marysville, led by the underclassman, Willow Tott will anchor the team next year. He had 11 points. Jack Lauer, the top scorer of the season, finished with 10. Brett Williams scoring eight. Peyton Smith came on strong with six points all in the fourth quarter. Brooke Williams had two. Sanders Utterman played off the bench with seven points. Heston 50, Marysville 44. Our final from Hutchinson. Highland Community College congratulates the area high school student athletes for their hard work and continued dedication in making it into the postseason playoffs. Want to earn college credit at an affordable rate close to home or online? HCC Summer and Fall Enrollment opens March 27th. Complete the free application for admission at highlandcc.edu slash apply. Need more information? Phone 785-442-6020. Highland Community College, close to home, far from debt. Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfurt, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. You can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring concern in your family's time of need. Due to an influx in orders, Landall Company in Marysville is hiring for full-time assemblers, welders, fabrication, material handlers, and painters. You'll receive an additional 4% weekly bonus for production employees who work their weekly required hours. Landall is working overtime and offers competitive wages and a full line of benefits, including a $2 per hour shift differential for second and third shifts, all-inclusive insurance plan, paid time off and paid holidays, profit sharing, and a fuel allowance to drive to work. Apply online or learn more at Landall.com. 
Landall Company, EEO Vets and Disability. Welcome. With text order options, competitive daily pricing, and no wrap requirements, Kramer Oil has everything to make your next propane or fuel order a breeze. This is Chad Kramer. Our goal at Kramer Oil is to deliver dependable, reliable products to your home or business at the best value and with the best customer service around. Visit us online at KramerOil.com and see how we can serve you. The Kramer family, proudly serving your family since 1976. Spring 2023 with savings on your Blue Valley Internet bill. If you increase your speed this spring, you get a $20.23 20 bill credit for three months. New Blue Valley Internet customers also get a $20.23 20 bill credit for three months. Visit bluevalley.net slash 2023. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. Well, back one more time. What a run it's been this year. I hope you had half as much fun as we did. It's been a tremendous week here in Hutchinson. These these kids can be proud. they got a long ride home, but uh, Sunday morning will come up. We'll move the clocks forward an hour, and we'll get back to business and reflect on the good memories. The, the overtime win versus the top seed, Galena. Uh, the win over Collegiate in the quarterfinals, stepping on the court. First time back to the state tournament since these kids were or in junior high. And they fought to the finish here tonight. The numbers just didn't uh, didn't add up. 55% from the field for Heston. Marysville, 38%. 13 of 19 free throws. 70% for Heston. 5 of 12. Marysville at 40%. Free throws. Eight-point difference there. They win by six. 50-44 our final. Jace. Jake Proctor led scoring with 15 for Heston. Marysville had Willow Totten double figures with 11. Jack Lauer finished with 10. He went down hard on his uh, lower back yesterday, and I asked Coach before the game if he was okay. Didn't really give me an answer, he hoped, but he fought uh, with 110% here tonight. 50-44 as Heston knocks off Marysville, three-peat for the Swathers, finishing 25-1. and one. Marysville is 23-3. and three. Hanover girls go undefeated. They beat Lebo at the Great Bend. Hanover 59, Lebo 34, and 1A D2. Donovan West out of the Twin Valley League beat Quinter in D1, 55 47. Frankfurt took the consolation over Norwich up in Dodge City, 49 23. Axtell boys fell into consolation to South Central today, 59 45. Here it was southeast of Saline over Galena in the consolation, 54 51. Goodland girls beat Cheney 59-37. And in the nightcap, wrapping up our season, Heston 50, Marysville 44. Texas beat Kansas 76-56 in the Big 12 tournament. Big round of thank yous to the KNDY Sports Booster Club members or regional sports boosters. Max Blasky back at the studio. We worked him hard this week. 12 high school and I think four college games back to back to back to back. Yeah, he can take the day off Monday. I'll head back. Bruce Deerking saying thanks for listening. So many fine comments. We appreciate your listening in all season long. Hey, tell our sponsors thanks. We'll do it again next year. Signing off one final time. Bulldogs, great season. Dropping a 50-44 decision in the 3A State Boys Championship from Hutchinson. Highland Community College congratulates the area high school student athletes for their hard work and continued dedication in making it into the postseason playoffs. Want to earn college credit at an affordable rate, close to home or online? HCC Summer and Fall Enrollment opens March 27th. Complete the free application for admission at highlandcc.edu slash apply. Need more information? Phone 785-442-6020. Highland Community College, close to home, far from debt. At your service 24-7, on air, online, and on our mobile app. News, weather, sports, and more. Yours from KNDY.